Yes, the gentlelady is recognized to strike the last word. Uh, thank you very much. I wanted to follow up and reiterate that federal funds cannot be used to pr pay for abortion services. That is the law. We are talking about funding for preventative care, cancer screenings, birth control, immunizations. It's incredibly important that this is clear and unfortunate that um, the majority continues to try to make this a confusing issue. Planned Parenthood provides preventative care for millions of women across the country, particularly low income and those in rural areas. And again, federal dollars cannot be used for abortion services. Um, I yield the remainder of my time to Ms. Chu. Thank you. I recognize Ms. Chu to, Ms. Chu to strike the last word. Yes, I uh, move to strike the last word. You know, community centers do not have the capacity to absorb the sheer volume of patients that are served by Planned Parenthood. 54% of Planned Parenthood health centers are in health professional shortage areas that are rural or medically underserved areas. Planned Parenthood health centers provide primary and preventive health care to many who otherwise would have nowhere to turn for care. The majority of Planned Parenthood health centers offer extended hours, same-day appointments, and have shorter wait times for an initial visit compared with all other types of publicly funded health care providers. And let me say that in the roundtable that I had with my Planned Parenthood um, constituents, uh, they talked about the specialized knowledge that there is in Planned Parenthood with regard to the variety of contraception that is available. Uh, and that kind of expertise is uh, very, very critical to have appropriate care for women.